So let's go to the next one. Yeah, the next one is going to be fun. We'll have some fun. Now. So I have here two beakers. So I got a bottle of water, just water that you can buy in the, in the store, and I filled this beaker here with the water. Are we going to make stuff explode? Because that's always fun. Well, nothing will explode here. I will be fired if I have to work to explode something here at the lab. And I have another beaker with tonic water, Schweppes tonic, vitamin jewels, tonics. And then I have here also a black light. So what is a black light? A, a black really, light. A really psychedelic light. Well, it's not psychedelic. There's a more scientific <laughs> definition for a black light. A black light is a light that emits UV light, right? So it's in the uh, ultraviolet. <coughs> so it's not visible. I have and a question. What makes a black light make things look weird? Well, I'll show you what makes it look weird. Because I think you would say that this looks weird. Okay, if you want to play with it, please put on these glasses. These are UV glasses. They protect you. I have to do that uh, safety regulation as well. So I have here this black light. Okay, and it's not completely black because you can still see a little bit of, uh, of white. And I'm going to stick this in. This was the water, right? Yeah. I'll stick good. it in the water. What do you see? It glows kind of purple. Well, that's this thing that glows purple. <laughs> Not much, right? No. All right. Now I'm going to stick it into the tonic water. What do you see? Cool. Blue. 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 All right, I'll stick it in here again. Water. I'll stick it in tonic. Something they can make a lot of money off. There you go, you're a businessman. So, what you see here is scintillation. This is scintillation light. Tonic water is a scintillator. Now, what makes tonic scintillate? Anyone know? The uh, bubbles in it? No. I always, I always forget, but I always want to use Sprite for it, not water, but Sprite. Tonic, why does tonic taste so it's different? Carbonated? No. Quinine? There you go. Tonic has quinine. And quinine, quinine, you don't know what quinine is? Quinine is the medicine, is the substance in, that they discovered you know, in the 1800s. It's very effective against malaria. So tonic has quinine, and quinine is naturally scintillated. So that's what you see here. And you can play with it uh, during the break. So, that's an example of a scintillator. So if you go to a bar next time, want to impress your friends, you know, you can order a liquid scintillator. <laughs> if you want to tell me. So what is scintillation? Scintillation is the release of energy. So you've got UV energy that you actually don't see. And it's then released as an optical photon. So it's released as, you know, visible light. That is scintillation. And there are two types of material that we use for scintillators. There are organic scintillators. Those are um, liquid or plastic. And then there are inorganic scintillators that are crystals. Now, you know, to go into the details of how it comes that this scintillates goes a bit too far because with these crystals, we actually require the crystal lattice for it to scintillate. And what we use most often here at the lab, or actually everywhere, or, is uh, plastics. Yeah. Uh, if, it, if the black light emits UV light, how come it uh, glows purple? Well, because it's not 100% efficient. Oh. So. Um, and these scintillators are generally doped with fluors. So you, know, you can increase the light yield, and you can match the wavelength to the wavelength of your detector. So, you know, maybe you have a detector that is more efficient for blue light than for green light, so you can dope it. So, you know, it's uh, you shift the wavelength to the green. So I have here a box of 
scintillators, and you can all take a piece of scintillator home. Oh. And um, so if you get a blue light, uh, so this one scintillates in the blue, I think. Yeah. Some of these even scintillate in the green. I'm not sure. <laughs> Just shine the thing into the box. You'll find one. Oh, yeah, okay. I'll let you know. <laughs> so, but you can take one of these, uh, you can take one of these home. <clears throat> so here is a picture where, you know, we have these wavelength, these, these scintillator lights, and you can clearly see that this one scintillates in the blue and these one scintillates in the green. All right. And they scintillate in the, any other colors? Sure. You know, but uh, most detectors are efficient, most efficient in the green. And then you can see that they have a groove, and what we do in the groove is we collect the light in the groove. So here, for example, we have one of these scintillating bars. Will we get one of those too? No, you don't get one of these. <laughs> <laughs> and then there is this fiber sticking out, you know, that shifts in this case, shifts it to green, and then you guide it then to your detector. And then, you know, with, with real detectors, we have tons and tons and tons of these uh, fibers coming out, you know. So you have all these scintillators here. You put them to a connector, and then you mount them onto your detector. But you can play with it, but don't take it. You can take one of those. <laughs> um, here is what I just told you. So you have a piece of scintillator, scintillates in the blue. A wavelength shifting fiber, it shifts the light to the green color, and you bring it to your detector. And I think I have a picture, this is a cool picture. This is our most recent detector that we built. It is actually taking data right here down the street in the Numi tunnel, where you can see it's massive arrays of scintillators wavelength shifting fibers that go to the detector. Now, 